One of the things that I continue to strive to do both here and over at Ring of Fire is to never give people false hope. I never want to give people the impression that something really good is going to happen when there is a chance that this good thing may not happen. And having said that, you know, that's kind of my preface for what I'm about to tell you. And that is this, there is a chance. There is a pretty good chance at this moment based on the way things are right now. And those things will probably change one way or the other. But as of right now, there's a good chance that Ted Cruz may lose his reelection this November. And here's why a new poll came out a couple days ago that shows not only has Donald Trump's lead in Texas been cut in half, but Ted Cruz is now only beating his democratic challenger, uh, us representative Colin Allred by 2.1 percentage points. So yes, Ted Cruz is still in the lead, but only by 2.1 percentage points, which if you look at the poll even closer is well within the polls margin of error because the margin of error is slightly below 3%, which as I've always said, anything over 3%, not a good poll under 3% good poll. This one's under three. I think it's at either 2.6 or 2.9. And that means technically Ted Cruz is in a statistical dead heat with Colin Allred, which means Allred has the opportunity to be the next Senator from the state of Texas. And he's not a Republican. That would be beyond amazing if it's able to happen. And the reason this is happening is because Allred is running a phenomenal campaign. He did an interview recently where he contrasted his activities on the day of the Capitol riot, January 6, 2021 with those of Ted Cruz. And here is what Allred had to say. And I love this statement because he went straight for the jugular on Ted Cruz. He said, quote, when you're a former professional football player in a situation like that, people will unsurprisingly look to you for protection. So I took my suit jacket off and got ready to take on whatever came through that door. That day we came closer to losing our democracy than a lot of people realize. And Ted Cruz is responsible for that. He spread the lie that the election was stolen and was the Senator who objected to the certification of the results in an attempt to overturn the will of the American people. But when the mob stormed the Capitol, he hid in a supply closet. Now that's some powerful imagery, right? Ted Cruz hiding in the closet, terrified of the very people he's pandering to while Colin Allred says, Oh, we're, we're, it's go time. Great. Takes off his jacket is right there at the door, ready to take on whatever comes in. That is courage. That is bravery. And that is what we want to see. Ted Cruz, who again, as Allred points out, spurred these people on spread election lies. He's in there hiding because he's terrified of the very people that he got all riled up. But that's not the only issue, obviously, that Colin Allred is calling out Ted Cruz for. While Cruz has sought to tie Allred to the Democratic Party's more left-wing policies, Allred has increasingly needled Cruz for high-profile missteps like hiding in a supply closet or flying to Cancun during the Texas freeze, something that to this very day, Ted Cruz still gets dragged for on social media. And I think to me, like that one, in my opinion, at least with the voters of Texas, that should be the bigger issue. Ted Cruz saw that, oh God, our power grid's failing because Texas isn't regulated like the rest of the country. We do it ourselves and we suck at it. Well, I'm going to Cancun guys. I'm taking my family. We're getting the hell out of here. Y'all, y'all be okay. Huh? I'm going to go have some fun in the sun. And he would have stayed on that trip if the American public hadn't gotten wind of it and called him out. But you know what I love most about that story? When Ted Cruz got on that plane to leave for Cancun, you had democratic representatives, including, and pretty much led by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Do you know what she did? She also got on a plane, but she flew to Texas. She flew to Texas. The Democrats flew to Texas 
and started giving out supplies, working the food lines to get people fed because they had no power and they were freezing to death while Ted Cruz was hiding in Cancun. Ted Cruz had the opportunity to show some real leadership in the state of Texas. The state itself needed him more than ever. And in their moment of le of need, he left, he fled the damn country because he thought, well, it's not my problem, <laughs> whatever y'all freeze. If you're going to freeze, I'm a millionaire. My wife makes tons of money. We're going on vacation. And we've all seen the humiliating pictures of Ted Cruz by himself in that airport with his little base suitcase and his little Texas mask on looking defeated when he came back to the country because he was defeated at that point. But that should be the image that these Texas Republicans keep in their head. Some things transcend party lines. I know far too much of the country is just too tribal, right? I'm a Republican. So I only support Republicans. I'm a Democrat. So I only support Democrats, but issues like this, where your state was going through life and death moments. When you needed your elected official, this wasn't a partisan problem that Texas was facing. Partisan problems caused the crisis. Don't get me wrong because the Texas Republicans turned the power grid over to the power companies. Republicans deny climate change, which of course responsible. But anyway, at the time this happened, it wasn't the time to do politics. It wasn't the time for left versus right. It was the time for those with the power to do something about it, to do something about it. And Ted Cruz chose to flee the country. Democrats chose to flee their areas and go to Texas to help people. So those Republicans in Texas need to understand that. This is not about tribal politics. This is not about left versus right. This is about who actually gives a damn about you and this country. And Colin Allred has proven on multiple occasions that he cares about this country. He cares about the safety and security and livelihoods of people in Texas. Cruz on the other hand has proven that he doesn't care. So Texas, if you want to keep sending this idiot back to the Senate, knowing that he doesn't give a damn if you live or die, that he would rather go have, you know, my ties on a sunny beach than to help you as your family freezes to death, then you can do that, I guess. But if you actually care about your own livelihoods, if you actually care about the safety and security of your own state, you know that Ted Cruz is not the guy. And this is the year where it's time to put partisan tribal politics aside, do what's best for your state, do what's best for the country. And even you Republicans in Texas know that the best thing for you is definitely not Ted Cruz. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.